Hey guys, Brian here. This is Main Street Moments. Now, I know you guys watch Disney and theme park live streamers and vloggers because you're watching this channel right now, right? Now, if you go to YouTube and you type in Disney or Universal or Disney vloggers or anything involving the Orlando theme parks, you get a screen that looks a lot like this, right? A lot of the same old people. And there's a lot of people that are live streaming and vlogging all the Orlando theme parks that, well, you just don't see that much. And I'm finding new people all the time. And frankly, let's face it, a lot of some of the more popular YouTubers in Orlando are more than just bored with the parks, right? I mean, they're bored. You can tell when they go there, hey, I'm at Disney today. You know, we're just going to go to the Magic Kingdom. We don't have a plan. And they, they, they look bored. Like they're out of ideas and there's a lot of people there that work very hard putting together their content and I have five that I want to share with you, okay? Some of them have been around for a while. Maybe you already subbed to them. Some of them are new, but these are five vloggers and live streamers and Disney theme park YouTubers that you should be watching. But when you go to the YouTube screen and you type in any variation of Disney or Walt Disney World or Orlando theme parks or Universal, the screen typically looks like this, right? And nothing against, you know, I like these people, but, you know, Tim Tracker, I, you know, I've been watching him for years. Pagey Miss Tomorrow. Everyone loves Pagey Miss Tomorrow. A lot of a lot of Tim Tracker and Pagey Miss Tomorrow. DFB Guide, which uh, my wife Kathy and I on our podcast have talked a bit about DFB Guide lately. They seem to have kind of run out of ideas, haven't they? Yeah, they kind of have. And you go through this. Look, Pagey Miss Tomorrow, Tim Tracker, DFB Guide. A few others pop in here and there, but it's mostly Tim Tracker, DFB Guide, and uh, that's about it. And there are a lot of others out there that are working really hard that put together great content. They're not just there. Okay, I'm at the park today. Follow me around. I got to get a vlog up five days a week or three days a week. So I better get out there and make a vlog. These are people that I think put a lot of effort in their content. And one guy who's been around for a long time that I'm a big fan of is the World of Micah. World of Micah is amazing. He's one of the hardest working vloggers. And no matter what he is vlogging in Orlando, he does Disney, he does Universal, he does everything. Sometimes he's just out in Orlando. He puts a lot of research and thought into it. He's friends with Adam the Woo and has done a lot of collabs with Adam the Woo. And, you know, now he's up to 34,200 subs, which is really good, but he should be over 100,000. He really should. And his uh, latest vlog, I watched this just a little while ago, and it blew me away. He did everything Muppets at Disney Hollywood Studios. And I'm not even really a fan of the Muppets. I was when I was a little kid. That's just, that whole Muppet area is just an area that I think most of us just walk by as fast as we can on the way to Smuggler's Run or Rise of the Resistance or something, right? And he went through that entire area. I'm not just talking about the theater. He went through the restaurant and everything and showed things that I never knew existed. And I've been going to Hollywood Studios since it first opened, all right? And I learned so much in this video. And not only did I learn a lot in this video that he did on everything Muppets, it made me want to go to that area and go and check it out. I've gone there a couple times and gotten a slice of pizza, but there's so much in that pizza restaurant I didn't realize. And World of Micah went through so many details. He must have spent days, days, literally days, researching all the little hidden gems over there. And not only that, he shows photos while he's there of what it used to look like and what it looks like now. And it, it, it's just absolutely amazing. And he does that on all of his vlogs. And I, I love him. So World of Micah is definitely at the at the top of my list. Although these channels are not in any particular order. This, these five are the five tops on my list of people you should be watching. But Micah is someone that everyone really should be watching. And he works so hard, too. And you can tell when you watch his videos. And he's not, he's not making a video just back from vacation telling you where his next fantastical vacation is going to be. He's giving you information that when you go to the park, 
you're going to use it. You're going to be like, wow, that's interesting. Let me go check that out. I did not know this about that attraction, right? So go and check him out, World of Micah. Now, this is one channel, this next one, that I love a lot, Retro WDW. This is an absolutely amazing channel. Sometimes I put a video on on this channel, and then I just leave this channel on for hours all day. And it's very relaxing. What Retro WDW does that is in, in just so super cool and amazing. He has a lot of videos that are home videos of regular people that they took back at the parks in the 70s and in the 80s. And they're completely restored. Now, a lot of them don't have sound because, you know, you didn't have sound on those those cameras back in the in the 70s. And some of them are on VHS tape. They're all restored. They looked great. And he puts really great music that's timely to the era that it's covering. And they are just so much fun to watch. And, you know, if you're Gen X like I am and my wife is, you'll love this channel because, you know, I've been going to the park since the mid-70s. I know a lot of you have not been going there that long. But it's so cool to see what the park looked like way back in the 70s and the 80s. And you get to see a lot of attractions that are not only long gone, but are forgotten. Like if you had Wings or Mr. Toe's Wild Ride at the Magic Kingdom here in Orlando or, you know, the Moon Rider or, or Flight to Mars. Or they, they, those things are all long gone. People have forgotten about them, but you get to see them here. And it's really, really cool. And you get to see what it was like before it was all built up, not just the Magic Kingdom, but you see a lot of these videos before all those hotels were around the lagoon. Uh, some of them are Epcot when Epcot was new. And a lot of people don't even know that these things happen that you see in these videos. Uh, at Epcot, they used to have a parade every night that went around the World Showcase. And it's long gone. But you get to see all these cool things. And they're all fully restored. And sometimes he gets videos that are like official tour videos from the theme parks that are restored from the 70s. 80s and 90s and those are a lot of fun to watch too and um, I mean just look at some of these this is Easter 1999 this is Easter 1998 uh, this is Disney World and Sea World from the 70s and this is uh, just beautiful stuff here we are 1980 a whole movie completely restored and you get to see these old home videos of parts of the park that you may have even forgotten about. So Retro WDW is just a great channel that you should be checking out. Now, this channel is absolutely amazing. Martinsvids.net. And he spells out dot D-O-T if you're searching on YouTube. And what Martinsvids.net does is something that no one else has done. And a lot of the YouTubers, they go to this channel to get information on the park because it's basically a history of the attractions at all the theme parks that Disney has around the world. I mostly watched Magic Kingdom here in Florida, a little Epcot, and a little bit of Disneyland. But he goes through the history of a ride from its conception to where it is today. And he'll show you what changes an attraction went through over the years. And it is just an incredible, incredible channel. You could spend all day watching this channel. I watched uh, two in particular that just blew my mind. One was on the Speedway here in the Magic Kingdom. And he went through the concept of the Speedway, what it originally was when it first opened, and then through all the changes that it's gone through up until today. And it's gone through changes over the decades more than you realize. And he goes through everything. It's really cool. And he does this for a lot of attractions, like um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, here and at, at Disneyland. And you get to see how the rides work. And you get to see things and learn about things involving all the parks that you never knew about. And I promise you, when you watch this, you'll see, oh yeah, a lot of the vloggers I watch, they get a lot of information from Martin's channel. They do. So it's martinsvids.net. You got to check it out. Now, this next channel is one that probably a lot of you are already subscribed to, but I want to share it because I think he's, he's pretty awesome. I only found him, I don't know, maybe a year ago or so, maybe less, uh, Kevin Himbach. And you know, I like a couple things about his channel. One, he's funny. He's got a great sense of humor. He's almost like a professional comic. He's very funny. His videos are entertaining. But his videos are also informative. Every video he does 
is fun to watch. You're spending a day at whatever park he's at, but it is informative. You take a lot of information away from the attraction about the park, and you learn a lot, and it helps you when you're at the park. It's not one of those, again, like I was talking earlier, oh, I'm, I'm at Hollywood Studios today, just follow me around. It's not like that. There's not a moment in these videos on his channel that is not giving you useful information. Kevin Himbach on YouTube. And I know a lot of <laughs> a lot of the YouTubers have gotten invited to the SeaWorld media preview of their new uh, roller coaster, uh, the Pipeline Surf Coaster, which I will never ride. Uh, 110 feet tall, 60 miles per hour. You're standing up. It's it's insane. I'm I'm never going to ride this ride. And Kevin here, I don't care what he says, he was scared out of his mind to ride this ride. And when he's on it, he you can see him. He's he's got a video on his face while he's riding this ride. He is terrified. I watched the Tim Tracker's version of this. And Tim Tracker, he's just like cool, relaxed. I'm like, wee, you know. Kevin is terrified, and it's real. It's a lot of fun. And I really like his channel. And I, I've seen him at the park vlogging a few times too. And you'll, you'll like his channel. And I know probably a lot of you are already subscribed because he has 53,000 subs. So it's not a tiny channel. It's a pretty nice size channel. But Kevin Himbach, he's one of those guys that's going to break the 100K mark and is really raising the bar, I think, for vlogging at the theme parks. Because, you know, a lot of people really don't give you much content other than they're here. Now, there's someone new. The next one is new to me, and they're a live streamer. And they're the only live streamer on my list of five Disney YouTubers that you should be watching. And I found this guy, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, he popped up in my recommendations. And I haven't really watched him until yesterday, and it's Ron on the go. And uh, his channel is absolutely amazing. And, you know, I know there's a lot of live streamers, and everyone has their favorite live streamers. But what he does when it comes to live streaming is so completely different than what any of the other live streamers do. Most of the live streamers, they're at the park. And uh, you just follow them around and they make sure they don't go to any of the places. They get wonky with the connection and uh, they're thanking everybody for the super chats and saying hi to everybody and they're just walking around. What Ron on the go does is he has some pretty cool challenges. And these are like real challenges that you can really get into. And he did one yesterday that wasn't really meant to be a challenge and then along the way it became a challenge. I'm not going to spoil the end of it, but I'm going to tell you about it. He was at Hollywood Studios yesterday, right? He was going to ride Smuggler's Run for 12 hours and, you know, basically opening to closing. And then along the way, uh, one of the cast members told him that the record number of times that someone has been on Smuggler's Run in a day was 54 times. So what just became as an all-day marathon ride of Smuggler's Run became an attempt to break a record. And I was in and out a few times during the day. So as it got kind of late in the evening, about the last 30, 45 minutes before park closing, I started watching it with my wife. It is really suspenseful. Is he going to do it? And the chat room's getting really excited. He's, he's on there, and I'm not going to tell you if he accomplished it or not, okay? But uh, he's on there, and he hits 50, and... You know, and he's he's got five to go to break the record. And then he, 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 you know, and he was doing the single rider line. And then all of a sudden they closed the single rider line and he has to get into the regular line. And the people in the regular line are tired, so they're walking slow and he's stuck behind them. It was a lot of fun and it was so suspenseful as to how it was going to turn out. But you have to watch it. But, you know, what I like about Ron on the go is he's having a great time. He's not bored. He is very creative. He He's not sitting somewhere in the park with his live stream and you're looking out while he's, you know, having a conversation with his, with his friends. The live stream of Ron on the go, it has a purpose. He, he's doing unique things that other people are not doing. He's having a good time. He's not burned out on the park. He's not taking the viewers for granted. And 
the viewers in the live stream in the chat are really getting into it. And I love it. And uh, I subbed to him last night for the first time during this challenge. He was popping up on my feed, but I had not subbed because, you know, I follow already some some live streamers. And, you know, like, ah, I don't know, another live streamer. But he's more than the average live streamer out there. So I think you'll you'll really enjoy his channel. And uh, he live streams all the time. Ron on the go. So those are the five YouTubers, live streamer right there, that you should be watching, that you may not be watching. But I want to throw in an honorable mention here. And that is 4K WDW. I love 4K WDW. I've seen him at the park many times filming. It's a faceless channel. He doesn't talk. You never see him. He has these 4K videos of everything going on in the parks. And I know a lot of you probably are familiar with 4K WDW. He has 111,000 subscribers, so it's not a small channel that people haven't heard of. But I love it. And some of the things I like about it is he shows a lot of things that I'm never going to see at the parks. Like, I, I don't go to the not-so-scary Halloween, you know? Uh, very often. I've been long ago, but I, it's not something I, I really go to. For example, when he shows that parade and it's in 4K, I feel like I'm seeing the parade at Mickey's Not So Scary better th on my screen, on my TV at home than if I were there in person because his video quality is so good and the sound is spectacular You'll know what I'm talking about when you. It's best at night, always, you know, because you got the beautiful lights. The you know, the, the Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios are made for the night. But even his daytime videos are spectacular, and I think you do see them on his channel better than if you were there in person. And you don't have to sit on the curb for two and a half hours to get a good spot. So I threw him in there as little number six, even though it's really just five. So guys. Go check out all those channels if you're not already. My name's Brian. This is Main Street Moments. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe. I'll see you next time.